friends, it's Carrie here with eatingonadime.com and today I have a four ingredient crock pot recipe for you. It's easy, pork chops is a crock pot. Today we're going to use boneless pork chops. However, you can also do bone in pork chops or a pork tenderloin. And if you're not a pork fan altogether, throw in some chicken breasts, bone in or boneless would be delicious in this recipe as well. Today I'm using a six quart slow cooker. Any kind of crock pot will work for this recipe. And then we're going to place the pork chops at the bottom of the slow cooker. I do have my favorite crock pots linked in the description below if you're in needing a new crock pot. In a medium sized mixing bowl, we're going to add two cans of cream of chicken soup. If you don't like using cream of chicken soup, no problem. We have a homemade recipe for that on eatingonadime.com or linked in the description below. Then we're going to add in two tablespoons of ranch mix and a half a cup of chicken broth. Again, I have a homemade ranch mix recipe as well at eatingonadime.com. And we're going to stir this until it's completely combined. Pour this mixture directly on top of the pork chops or if you are using chicken or whatever kind of meat you've decided to use. You want to spread the mixture so it completely covers the pork chops. Add the lid and then we're going to cook this on low for five to seven hours or on high for three to four hours. I like to cook this recipe so the pork chops are still whole, but if you add an additional hour, the pork chops will fall apart. If you would like your gravy to be a little thicker, you can stir in a cornstarch slurry and we teach you how to do that at the full recipe on eatingonadime.com. I told you this recipe is super simple, friends. You only need four ingredients for a delicious crock pot pork chop recipe. It makes an amazing sauce to go over the pork chops and delicious with your sides. I love serving this with mashed potatoes or buttered egg noodles or even rice. And any green vegetable will be amazing. And if your kids are super picky and don't like vegetables, the sauce is delicious over the vegetables too. Friends, you can get the full recipe in the link in the description, as well as more family-friendly recipes at eatingonadime.com. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more family-friendly recipe videos. I'll see you next time in my kitchen. Bye, friends.